In this video, I will attempt to explain how to build a roof drainage cricket. They're often referred to as crickets, but uh, in construction, there are a lot of odd names. I have no idea why it is called a cricket. Now, a cricket is actually a drainage system that um, is used when the roof uh, isn't going to be blending in with the other roof. Like this one right here, you could imagine if you created a valley here and then ran the ridge over to here and then came back down, everything would work out. But I've actually seen these uh, and they're used in a variety of different situations. And I'm going to make another video to show you a few different situations where they can be used. But uh, let's go ahead and get started with this one here. Here we can see what I said. Uh, if the water was to drain off of this roof, it has nowhere to go. But uh, if we put a roof cricket in here, the water will actually, the water that comes off of the roof will start to work its way down here and then down on this side. So I hope that makes sense. Go ahead and take a look at the framing here. Here's the building that's going to blend in. We got the roof sheeting. I left a lot of this exposed so you can get an idea of what uh, we're working with, roof rafters and uh, the uh, gable studs, something like that in the roof sheeting. If I cover everything up, sometimes you can't see everything. So that's the reason why that is like that. The first thing you will need to do will be to find the center of the cricket, and that can be done by measuring the overall span, dividing it by two. And then with that span also, we are going to figure out how tall it needs to be. And most roof drainage crickets are a quarter of an inch per foot slope or have a quarter of an inch per foot slope. And for eight feet, this means this would need to go up at least two inches. And if you have the room, I like to go up a little higher. I'm actually going to make mine eight inches. So I'm gonna have a distance from here to here will be eight inches for an eight foot span or an eight foot, not a span, eight foot uh, run, let's say. And that's going to give me a one inch per foot slope. And I say if you have the room, make it a little, put a little more slope into it. And again, you will need a line here also, which will be a 90 degree angle from this line here or the roof sheathing. Next thing you'll need to do will be to grab a level and line it up with the mark you just put on the wall framing stud, level across, and then our, our cricket actually lines up with the breaking point where the roof sheathing connects to each other, and uh, that'll be helpful for the video, but might not always work like, work like that uh, for your project. So. That'll give you a good idea of what you need. Here we can see where we have the center of the roof drainage cricket. And now we have a mark here what we can use later um, to create the lines we will need for our drainage cricket. Next, we will need to connect the lines where at the intersecting points to give us our drainage, or I should say our guidelines for the roof cricket. You see right here where we have created a slope. Intersecting point would be here where the plywood intersects with the both roofs. Intersecting point here, again, our line that we made to our eight inches that we have up here. And then when we leveled across, we came to this point here. So we have our points that we are coming off of there. And then the other intersecting point on the side. There you can see where we have a nice one inch per foot slope. The next step will be to create a couple of guidelines. And we will need a guideline for the bottom of our sheathing and a guideline here for the bottom of the sheathing so that we can actually measure the distance and cut our sheathing for that. If we just cut it to here, like I said, these distances, we could have a problem down here. You might not have a problem here, but down here you could. So first thing you're gonna to need to do is create a parallel line 
that uh, will be the top of the roof sheathing and the bottom of the roof sheathing. Our roof sheathing is a half inch thick, so this line is one half inch lower than the other line and it runs parallel to it. You can see here where it's blending in down here instead of up here. Top of the sheathing, even if we don't run the top of our sheathing all the way to here, this line will still work out with the roof sheathing, I mean the roofing materials when it's done. Now you can do this, you might not need to do uh, put the use a second block, sometimes one uh, block here will be enough. And what you need to do is level across, uh, not level across, um, you can just actually connect, I mean these are level, um, but uh, you just need to connect the upper guideline to the upper guideline on the roof sheathing and the one on the wall and then use a scrap piece of plywood to figure out where that line is going to meet and then simply draw a connecting point for that. This is the bottom of the sheathing and this even if we're not going to have I mean you're not going to cut an angle like this on your plywood. You can knock yourself out but uh, most of the time we're not it's not going to work out. So the bottom points are um, critical when connecting uh, when cutting the sheathing and making everything plain in again like I said especially at the bottom. So once we have our mark here we can simply measure the distance here. Let's say it's an inch and a half, and then you can m make another mark an inch and a half instead of doing this right here, um, because the lines should be parallel. All of these lines should be parallel. The guideline on the on the bottom guideline should be parallel with the top. The guideline on the roof sheathing should be parallel um, also. You should end up with something like this after you've created your lines. Again, they will intersect at these points and they will be parallel. The next step will be to cut a couple of ledgers and to create some rafters, some little fill rafters here. And these can be spaced uh, whatever the span of the plywood is, whatever it's acceptable, 16 inches on center, 24 inches on center and they will simply again you will connect the dots here you can see here where the ledger is lower this is our half inch plywood here and this would be the distance of our half inch plywood to where it would plane in from this point to this point these are 16 inches on center little rafters here and just simply cut some shape blocks in and at the end this will be fine and you can actually leave some of these out let's go back to the first scene here um, this one you will need but uh, if this distance is less than 16 inches on center or 16 inches let's say which would be the span of one of these rafters you could simply just nail a piece of plywood in here and uh, these probably wouldn't be necessary but that all depends upon you and your project. The next step will be to cut the plywood and the measurements for the plywood can be um, taken from the bottom of the plywood lines. So for example if we have from the point here on the bottom to the point here on the bottom let's just say it's 16 inches and it's um, the distance from this point back here to the point here is 97, 90, well, 95 inches, we'll say, less than a sheet of plywood. Um, so if we have 95 inches from here, 16 inches from here, all we need to do is lay this out. This is a 90 degree angle off of the plywood, and you will make a mark at 95 inches on this side and a mark at 16 inches on this side and then connect this with a straight line and that should give you your plywood uh, roof sheathing for something like this and if the if the if it's going to be a little bit longer let's say that this was um, 16 feet you know just to make it simple simply go to the eight foot point and come square off of that and then measure that distance for an eight so you can use an eight foot piece of plywood or um, OSB and then um, 
you know, let's say that we have this is 24 inches and at eight foot it's, it's 16 inches, then we could simply make a 16 inch mark on one side of the piece of plywood, 24 inch mark on the other piece and then connect that and that should get everything to work just fine. Go down here. Remember again, these are the points we're going to use, not the not the top of the top of the sheathing, the bottom of the sheathing points. That's what it should look like when you're done. There it is. There's your roof cricket, and uh, hopefully that makes sense. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment area, and I will answer them as soon as possible.